is up guys Jeremy here and welcome back to another video so I wanted to show you guys something insane that you can do with weather light and shortcuts and just how powerful it can be and uh, I'll just demo it here so obviously you guys can see this is a setup that I'm currently running I do have weather light running for the date on my home screen as you guys can see of course this is no jailbreak this is completely stock iOS Basically, weather light is running a shortcut to to tell um, a JavaScript file to put the date onto my wallpaper, as you guys can see. So I'm sure you guys mostly all know at this point how weather light works. But just watch how quickly I can switch between setups on this device. Now, this is pretty cool. So basically what I do is I just take my docked icons out. I go into this view. And then let's say I want to switch to this setup, a new one that I've been working on. So I go ahead and enable these two pages because it uh, required me to move the icons to one other page. I'll deselect this one, click on done in the upper right. I'll take the docked icons, move those back because most of my setups are pretty much just a one page setup. Go ahead and move those. We'll click on done. And then now I can just run this shortcut that I have as an app icon. And as you guys will see, it's going to run Tokyo, a shortcut. And that's just the name of this setup. I named it Tokyo. And you guys will see that the setup will completely change. So there you go. Now this looks completely different than it did a minute ago. And I'm not sure why Widgie is looking really wonky. Let's go ahead and generate it. Looks like Widgie must have updated. That's cool. All right, well, Widgie's looking weird. Let's do, let me demonstrate this again for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my docked icons out and I'm just gonna drop them in this page. It kind of messed up, it moved the Widgie over, I know. Again, let's go ahead and uh, enable a different page. Let's do this setup here. Click done. I'm gonna go ahead and move my docked icons into the dock. Click done, run this shortcut here. And again, you guys will see the setup will change. Now, literally when you're doing this, you know, I'm doing it a little slow because I'm recording it for you guys. But if you do this, it literally takes 30 seconds to jump between setups on your iPhone. It's, it's pretty damn cool. And as you can see, there is a different setup. And I think I have like four or five of these that I can switch between. Obviously, I'm not showing much advanced stuff with weather light, but I do have a setup for that. So if you guys want to see the cool um, green setup that I have, again, we'll do this. We'll switch to that setup. We'll disable this page. Same process. Just go ahead and drop these down here. Go ahead and click done. And I think that one right there is the shortcut. I got to fix the icons up there, but as you guys will see this will again, change the setup. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this. I think you guys might find it incredibly useful for those of you that like using weather light and like having multiple different weather light setups or multiple icon setups in general. This is a very handy trick to know. And there you go. As you can see, this is what this setup looks like. So within the matter of, you know, maybe two minutes or so, I just went through like four different setups and it changes the complete look of my iPhone. It's pretty insane. So what I do is we'll go into shortcuts. Now, you guys can see I have one weather light V2 there. That is the main shortcut that I keep. I don't actually use this or I don't have it in use. What I do is I keep it there to duplicate it. So what I do is I will usually duplicate it and then now this one, I will turn it into a certain setup so what I do is I go to the three dots, three dots again, and then I'll just change the the name to whatever like setup that I'm creating. I can just do YouTube, for example. Um, and then once I've done that, what I do is I move it into a shortcuts folder. As you guys can see, I created one. You just back up and then you can click plus to create a new folder. And then here are the weather light shortcuts that I have to jump in between different setups. And what I've done is I've, I've added each one of these to each setup as an app icon. So that way I don't actually have to come into shortcuts to enable that setup. I'm just using an app icon to do that. And again, you can do that by doing the three dots, three dots again. And then you can add that shortcut to your home screen. I like to do like a terminal icon or a weather icon, 
something like that. So I always know which one it is. So essentially what's going on here is I'm just duplicating everything and, and creating all of these different setups and they can be enabled from each page of my home screen. Now, another little tip for this is if I go into my files here and if I back out and go into iCloud Drive and we go to the notorious iOS weather folder, as you can see, I have the corresponding names to each setup in there as well. As you guys can see, that correlates to those shortcuts. And I keep that main zip file that I initially downloaded because when I want to create a new setup, I can literally just click the zip and I'll get another folder of everything I need for weather light. And then I can go ahead and modify the JSON files. I can modify all of the images and everything with it. So basically from here, what I would do is let's, I'm just uh, doing this as an example. This isn't going to be anything, but I would rename this file to YouTube. So say YouTube is a new setup I'm going to use. Now you got to pay attention to capitals and stuff like that. I'm actually going to make it so it's capital Y, capital T, and then I'll click done. And now what I'll do is go back to the shortcuts and let's say I'm working on uh, this new one here. What I do is I click the three dots and you need to tell this shortcut to look for that YouTube folder. So the way you can do that is if you just swipe down a little bit here, um, it can be a little tricky to find. But basically, I might have passed it already. Basically, it's just going to be a comment that's going to tell it which folder to access. I don't think I went far enough yet. So here we go. This is the first step. Define Sun folder names. So pretty much what I got to do here is change this name to the YouTube with the capital Y and the capital T and it will pull all the information from that folder. Whoops, looks like I forgot the U. Just like that. So now when I run this shortcut, it'll work. There'll be no errors. Let's just run it just to show you. For example, And like I said, the trick here is to work on one at a time. So as you guys download these um, custom setups from iHeaven, you can keep all of them on your phone as long as you have the iCloud space to, to support it. Uh, if you have the iCloud space there, then you can have limitless setups and configurations. And, you know, as you can see there, it's, it's working um, perfectly fine by renaming it like I did. Basically, it's just... It's, it's it really file system and manipulation. Like I've said this whole time, like you can do whatever you want with it. It's really incredible. Um, that's all I wanted to show you guys in this video is how I have multiple setups on my 12 Pro Max, how I can easily switch between these setups just by um, moving the docked icons, going to another page, moving the docked icons back of that page, clicking a button and then enabling all of the the custom looks that you guys see. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.